So here's the thing, I have seen way too many developers buy a laptop that seems fine at first until you open a few tabs, run your code and everything starts slowing down. And when deadlines are tight and you are debugging at 2am, you don't want a laptop holding you back. So in this video, I will help you pick the best laptop for programming and coding, especially if you are a student trying to balance classes, projects, whether you are building web apps, learning python, juggling multiple tools, or planning to get into AI and machine learning later on, these laptops will grow with you. So let's get it started. Performance start with the processor, an Intel i3 13th generation or Ryzen 3 7000 series is the bare minimum. But if you want a smoother experience, an Intel i5 13th generation or more, or the Ryzen 5 7535H or more is the sweet spot. Memory plays a huge role in multitasking. If you are just learning or using a secondary machine, 8GB might get you. But for full stack development, 16GB is the real baseline. Running dockers, multiple servers, or heavy builds, 32GB will keep things snappy and prevent slowdowns. A 512GB of NVMe SSD with at least 3000 Mbps read write speed is the absolute minimum. Now, battery life comes down to the efficiency. A well optimized machine should last through long coding sessions without constantly searching for a charger. Push performance heavy task and you will need to stay plugged in more often. It's all about balancing power and portability. So you are diving into web development. That's where the Asus VivoBook Go 14 steps in. For 30,900, this thing is surprisingly capable. Ryzen 3 7320U, 4 core, 8 threads, not winning any benchmark wars, but for running a lightweight express servers, it gets the job done. You have got the 8GB LPDDR5 RAM, which yeah, it's soldered, no upgrade. But if you are keeping it lean, VS Code, Chrome Dev Tools, maybe MongoDB Atlas in the cloud, and you are good. Just don't try running dockers locally, unless you enjoy watching your laptop back for mercy. Alright, let's be real, if you want to handle MongoDB queries, express APIs, and react hot reloads without your laptop turning into a toaster, you need at least 16GB of RAM and a solid CPU, anything less and you are fighting with your own setup. For 39,990, Lenovo V15 is a solid pick for backend developers. Ryzen 7 7730U, 8 cores, 16 threads. This thing eats Node.js APIs, PM2 process management, and local MongoDB for breakfast. And 16GB DDR4 RAM, upgradable. Now, even dockerized backends aren't a problem. SSD, 512GB, enough for all your projects without worrying about disk space. But if you are someone who live in Vim, VS Code, or Terminal Workflow, the ThinkPad E14 at 47,990 is worth considering. It comes with the Ryzen 5 7530U. Yeah, it's not as powerful as the Ryzen 7 on the V15, but that keyboard, it's next level for developers who type all the day. Both can handle API heavy backend development. At this level, you are not just running a small CRUD app, you are deploying full money stack and handling big next.js builds without feeling like you are stuck in an infinite loading screen. You need power, but the right kind of power. For 53,400, the MSI Modern 15H AI is a solid pick for backend heavy workloads. Intel Ultra 5 125H, 4 performance cores, 10 efficiency cores, 18 threads, gives you solid battery life while coding thanks to those efficiency cores. 16 GB of LPDDR5 RAM. Now, if you are more full stack, juggling webpack, parcels, and those never ending NPM installs, the Asus VivoBook 16 at 53,990 is a better choice. The i5 12500H, 4 performance cores, 8 efficiency cores, 16 thread is faster and more importantly, 16GB DDR4 RAM upgradable. That means in future, you can throw in more RAM and easily handle VMs, Redis caching, and running local databases. The Asus VivoBook 16X at 59,990 has a RTX 2050, which means TensorFlow JS, 3JS, lotty heavy UIs, and even AI-powered Next.js optimizations, and even handle stable diffusion. But if you are in the macOS ecosystem, the MacBook Air M1 at 63,990 is a still solid choice. That M1 chip, 8 cores, 8 threads is insanely efficient. NPM installs are fast, no overheating, but 8GB LPDDR4X isn't upgradable. And the 256GB of SSD fills up fast. If you are juggling VS Code, Xcode, and local builds, Dell Inspiron 5445 at 67,990 is a beast. Ryzen 7 8840U, 8 cores, 16 threads, plus 16GB of DDR5 RAM. Means strong multi core performance and better efficiency than the DDR4. Now we are talking about serious development work. You are running local databases, handling web sockets, debugging SSR APIs, and testing GraphQL at large scale. If battery life is your priority, the HP Pavilion AI Ultra 5 at 74,990 is a solid choice. Intel Ultra 5 125U, 2 performance cores, 10 efficiency cores, 14 threads is a great for power efficiency. But here's the catch. Only two performance cores. That means Next.js builds will be slower. Anything CPU heavy will take a hit. The Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 5 at 69,990 
is the better pick. Intel Ultra 5 125H, 4 performance cores, 10 efficiency cores, 18 threads, has more performance cores meaning faster next year's Express and API heavy works, plus 16 GB LPDDR5X RAM and 1 TB SSD. Finally, enough storage for all your projects. Now at this stage, you are not just writing codes, you are managing entire ecosystems. Large scale MERN application, Kubernetes clusters, if your laptop can't keep up, it's the bottleneck you can't afford. For those who love Mac OS, the MacBook Air M4 at $99,990 is an obvious choice. The M4 chip is insanely fast and with 16GB of LPDDR5 RAM in the base variant, it's finally usable for heavy development. But here's the catch, 256GB of SSD storage at this price. That's a serious limitation if you are working with large projects. So in my opinion, you have to buy a 512GB or 1TB external SSDs. Now if you want no compromises, the Lenovo IdeaPad Pro 5 at 1,04,990 is a serious powerhouse. The Intel Ultra 9 185H with 6 performance cores, 10 efficiency cores and 22 threads delivers a massive performance boost. Running multiple deployment servers, load testing APIs, managing real-time web sockets, this setup doesn't flinch. With 32GB of LPDDR5X RAM, you can stack Docker containers, run MongoDB, Redis caching, TensorFlow.js, and still have headroom left. And that 1TB SSD paired with the Intel Arc graphics makes this an ideal machine for full stack deployment. Whether you are optimizing images or Next.js, handling AI powered enhancements, or even sneaking into a bit of gaming, this laptop handles it all. Now, let's talk about my final recommendation the Apple MacBook Pro with M4 chip. I don't need to say much, you already know how powerful this laptop is. If you can afford it, it's the perfect machine for coding. At the end of the day, your laptop should work as hard as you do. But keep in mind, if you want to juggle multiple servers or containers, make sure you've got the enough RAM. And if you want a bit of a machine learning and AI, a GPU is a game changer. It's not just about specs, it's about finding the machine that evolves with your workflow. So that's a wrap up for today. If this video helped you, check out the best buying links in the description down below. These are affiliate links. So when you grab one, you are actually supporting the channel with no extra cost to you. And if you are into more in-depth tech breakdowns, make sure to subscribe the channel for more content. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Got any questions or thought? Drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching and as always keep vibing and I will see you in the next one.